Hello students now we will be solving memory based questions of gate 19 for more video solution on gate 19 subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click bell icon for instant notification Hello students I am Akhilesh Mathur and now we will solve the uh, two mark question from the RCC and afternoon session okay <clears throat> So the question is when a specimen of M25 concrete is loaded with a stress of 12.5 MPa so what is given M25 concrete means that CK is given 25 okay with loaded with stress of 12.5 MPa so loaded with stress of 12.5 MPa well second i am uh, reading the question when a specimen of m25 concrete is loaded to stress of 12.5 mpa a strain of 502 ten to the power minus 6 is recorded so what is the strain coming during uh, when you apply this stress 502 ten to the power minus 6 strain is coming okay so this strain is coming when you apply this stress okay now the next line is The question is for two marks, so nice question it is. If the load is allowed to stand for long time, if the same load, the same load is load is same, uh, concrete specimen is same, so area is constant, so whatever load is applying, the stress will be remain same. So we can say uh, uh, for the same kind of stress, if the same stress allowed to stand for a long time, if it is allowed to stand for a long time, then after long time the strain increases to so after. long time the strain increases to now the strain is 1000 into 10 to the power minus 6 now this is the next strain which is coming because of the uh, same uh, load application okay so according to is 456 2000 considering the long term effect what will be the effective elastic modulus of the concrete so they have asked the elastic effective elastic modulus effective elastic modulus of concrete after considering long term effect okay so we know when we applied this stress 12.5 mp a first time then the strain recorded is 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 it means this strain is definitely elastic strain 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 now after a long time what are time i don't know what is the time so after a long time the strain became 1000 into 10 to the power minus 6 it means after 500 it became 1000 okay so what is the so the remaining amount of strain is known as creep strain because this is on the same loading the deformation is going on it means it is subjected to now creep so what will be the creep strain creep strain is equal to Initially it was 500. Now it became 1000. So creep strain will be 1000 1000 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus 500 into 10 to the power minus 6. So it will be 500 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. Why we need this? Why we uh, calculated this? Because we need the modulus of concrete, elastic modulus of concrete after considering the long term effect. So we know. after considering the long term effect the modulus of concrete will be initial modulus of concrete divided by divided by uh, divided by 1 plus theta what is theta where theta is creep coefficient and what is creep coefficient we know creep coefficient is equal to creep strain divided by elastic strain okay so what will be the value of theta creep strain is 500 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by what is the elastic strain the same 500 into 10 to the power minus 6 is equal to 1 okay so ecl will be equal to what is the concrete elastic modulus we know 5000 root fck divided by 1 plus theta so 5000 root fck means 25 and 1 plus theta is 1 So this will be twenty five thousand divided by two. So twelve thousand five hundred newton per mm square or MPa. So twelve thousand five hundred will be your long term last effective elastic modulus. Initially it was twenty five thousand, but it became twelve thousand five hundred 
okay why why because of the uh, creep strain what is the creep strain initially it was 500 then it became 1000 so the remaining amount will be your creep strain okay so this is how this is how we have done this two months question again the question was very easy and uh, all the question which has been asked for the second paper like afternoon paper are from only introduction topic no analysis of single reinforcement beam double reinforcement beam similarly in morning paper also one question asked from rcc that is also uh, from the introduction of rcc okay not beyond that so the, this time the question from rcc asked very easily a very easy question they, they has asked so this is the answer okay 12,500 MPM. So keep watching the videos and uh, please uh, share with your friends. Thank you so much.